Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil. This is your host, Leading Man. Well, we're done watching Paige's video, and as you can see, the way forward is blocked by these lights. This switch right here actually just shuts the door. So instead, what you gotta do is just kick down the grate and continue on through the factory. Now, the upcoming section is actually a, a stealth section, and I'm sure I'll screw it up a few times, so we'll talk about the mechanics when we get Miss there. Tyrus. There are guards all over the sector. Whatever you do, don't get caught. We'll meet up a little further along. Do make sure you kill these rats. They will take little bits of damage off you. And instead, you can make a little bit of money, so... Obvious choice there. Same here. Shawnee, Double H has informed us about Paige. He has seen him in the hands of the Alpha Sections. Hang in there, Jade. Wrap up your report. That's the only way of saving Paige. These rats do like to sneak out at the most inopportune times, so... Do make sure you're kicking about when right about right before you get up to it. They will try to move into you as you walk. So, ready for the stealth section? Because I know I am. As you can see, we have the alpha section guards here. If you look, you'll see a flashlight like a... Well, I guess it's just really just a green light. But that'll tell you the direction they're viewing. Uh, in this case, these guys aren't going to move, and we can actually just slip on in between. If you want to, you can also fight them, which we'll go over in a minute. Calling all have penetrated For example, this guy. So, what you can do is you can pull out your camera, and if you see the defense secret it showed, it would say that the, the tank is actually their weak point. Now again, you can fight these guys, but you can also slip by if you don't really care. There is an achievement on the Xbox 360 for fighting, I want to say, 10 of them. I can't remember exactly. But, uh, yeah. I've already got the achievement, so I don't care. Oh, this is what happens if you get caught. <laughs> Basically, you need to come down to uh, this uh, safe area and stay out of those lights because they will instantly kill you once he starts firing. They start a little pink and they will turn red when he's firing. Now, if you want, you can throw a disc at these guys and break the little thing on their back that will cause them to be incapacitated. And then you just kick them from there and that takes them out. Uh, sometimes it's a much more effective strategy, and honestly, that's kind of what I was trying to do the first time before I got caught. Miss Tyrus, I'm blocked by the flames! Here you can see we have switches. We just need to use our gyro disc and turn off the switches as he gets to them. Here you do have to order him to turn off the gate. Miss Lyris, in case you have no other choice in the matter, you can sneak up behind the guards and strike them on their air tanks. That's their Achilles heel. We'll meet up further on. And in case you haven't done it, they sort of straight up tell you you can attack the guards. And by sort of, I mean they do. Also, uh, Double H is going to be with us for a little while here, so what we want to do is at least give him one PA1 so he can survive. As you can see, he's already down to one heart. <laughs> and I believe that just unlocks the gate for him to move on further, so... So, if I can s let you see here, there's a guard sort of peeking around this corner. And what they want you to do is head up over these boxes slash grates, jump down on the other side, and follow the advice of hitting them on the air tank. 
there's the easiest point to actually take out a guard in the entire game. That I can remember. <laughs> So, let's show the other way to do it. As I was saying, you can hit him in the back of the air tank with a gyro disc. And what's going to happen is if there's more than one guard, the other one will run to try to help the other guard. Now, if he actually completes this, they will both come back and try to kill you. So, the ideal thing to do is actually just to wait for him to help out his buddy and just slap him on the back. And boom, now they're both down. You can just kick him to death. A lot of the time, this is easier than just trying to deal with the guards or sneak by them. In this case, we wanted to actually get back here because there is a cabinet. And said little cabinet has a bunch of goodies. Like a PA-1. Bravo, Yid. Okay, I keep for you. I think that may be the first set of pods we'd seen. It basically works exactly like K-Bups, but for your ship. Calling all guards! Hold your positions and stay on alert! Intercept and destroy! If you've never done this before, you don't know that this area is a little tricky. Also, this gate right here is the one that was on that kept us from going uh, any further, and we had to use the grate right at the very beginning of this video. So, this section is a little bit rough. Uh, you do need to use the crate to block the guard's vision of you. Unfortunately, that guard's vision is very accurate, and you do need to be uh, pretty exacting with your movements. Also, the box will randomly stop every now and then just to piss you off. Once you get far enough that this little median in the center uh, covers the area between you and the guard, you can just move forward. Also, up above is a place to see the x-ray verification if you didn't get that earlier, I think. I don't even know if you can get this far without having done that. But, it, you know, hey, knowledge. Stupid effing rats. And camera angle. I blame you, camera. For my single heart of damage. Anyway, we just need to move through this area and head out the not very visible exit. As you can tell with the intense music, we're back in another stealth section. What we have here is the vat of K-Bups, or Nutra-Pills. It's probably Nutra-Pills. That's odd! That's oh odd! <laughs> I love that read so much. Anyway, we sneak around the vat, and eventually, we'll get to the guard who's trying to scope out the uh, button we pressed. Sayonara. Here's another place to get the spiders roaming all over. And what do we have here? And it looks like the surveillance camera Zemdisk, so that'll be useful. Over here we also have a storage closet. And we get a Starkos and some very familiar shoes. Paige's shoes. What have they done with you? Bet I know what's on the surveillance camera footage. Well done, Yeet. Alright, so here you can scope out Paige's shoes. Hey, what is this? We'll get back to that later. Another place to grab the map. I think we already got it. Nothing to report. I think it still says nothing to report, even if you got it, though, so... I don't know how useful that was. Have we fought these before? I don't remember. If not, these are the security drones. 
What you need to do is hit them so that their lasers go to the sky. Uh, that way they can actually aim at you, and all you need to do is knock them into these security, uh, the electrical security fields. Over here in the computer room, there is another M-Disc for us to steal, and of course an M-Disc reader, so we can actually take a look at the surveillance data slash whatever this is. Hillian Army Data Bank. Let's start with the surveillance data. Oh, hey, it's video. That's new. Did you undress him for packing? Murderers! Torturers! Affirmative. Jumpsuit and shoes. Everything's in the locker. Strange we can rescue his shoes, but not his jumpsuit. Guess the pig is gonna have to go naked. I'm assuming we're gonna rescue him. So, this is the Hillian Army Data Bank. As you can see, it gives us wonderful stats on all sorts of stuff, like this is the regular army dudes. These, of course, are the alpha sections, which we've seen before, and again, nice uh, reminder of their weakness. Electrical barriers. Just blew those up, so awesome. And of course, this is the cy- oh, it's a Cyclopsis unit. Nice. Um, yeah. Here's some stuff we may or may not have seen. These are out in the water. These we have yet to see. As you can see, there's propulsion tanks. They really should stop making that technology glow green. Um, laser turrets. I don't think we've seen these yet. Torpedo launchers. Definitely haven't seen those yet. But it's a good thing I know it's inertia coefficient. And of course, isobaric cases. These were being used to transport things in the earlier section. Yeah, don't know. Interestingly, these are inoffensive and ineffective against military armors, both the uh, red and blue. Apparently red can be turned off, though. Yeah, sure have a lot of drones. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this computer room. We'll go ahead and head back out onto the uh, floor of the vat. The loading area, really. Well, through here, the stealth section continues. We're actually going to double back through here, because if you can see, there's a key we don't have yet. We need a special key. Thanks, Jaden. <laughs> So, this is a timed thing. And of course, we're back to stealth. This guy, it's most effective to sort of just sneak on into the shadows, wait for him to look, come back, go through and underneath. So once you're done killing the evil squeakies, you can jump up here and you can either hang from this ledge and wait or you can actually move up closer to that, I don't know, what is it, a barricade in the center? Some sort of apparatus? There's a word for you. Um, yeah, so if you sneak on over to the corner, just wait for him to walk over, turn around. This is pretty much our opportunity to snap him in the back. And since he has no friend, he's just done for. This is, of course, 
some sort of space age elevator. Got two guys on patrol here. Easy as to just take him out to our standard methodology of waiting for the guy to come help him. You all right? Order in distress. Here we go. There's a clear room. So, this section's a little interesting. Um, if you start a fight here, it can get pretty bad. It's actually easiest to just sneak on by. Um, some people have a hard time with this, I've read. I don't know why. It's actually relatively easy. Just basically... Uh, do your best to not interact with guards in any way, shape, or form. Here you don't want to move too fast, because the little dude back there will see you. And I missed my timing, so I ended up having to just stick here for a second. Now let's go. So, the key is not aggroing that guard, then just jumping up, and don't move. The robot arm will just put you down here in safety. Yeah, it's not that not, not too bad of a puzzle. Actually, fighting them makes it much more difficult. Oh god. Unmasked alpha sections are gross. Fortunately, we can't take a picture from here, so we have to keep going. In case you don't remember, yes, that is one of our goals. <laughs> They're kind of spread out. Easy to forget exactly all the stuff you're supposed to do here. Another guard to deal with. Basically, we just need to watch his rotation. As you can see, he's going to turn over here. And one second his back to will be to us. Oh, wait. He goes the other way. Fine. In another second, his back will be to us. Oh, damn it. Oh, oh, oh. I was so lucky. <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> Maybe you won't see me fail. Oh wait, no, I already did, right? Yeah, okay. Phew. <laughs> Remember, every time you see uh, guards, there is a place for you to hide. Did you see the alpha sections? Look at their faces, they're no longer human. They're controlled by the DOMs. We must inform the entire population of this. Quick, send a picture to the Iris Network. I'll get you looking for a way in. Thankfully, the game is not going to really let you forget what to do, and they straight up tell you, take a picture of the dude. Snap. Good work, Shawnee. I'll publish it. I'll also transfer it to the governor. I'm sure she'll be willing to help you out again. So, since this objective is met, we can now, of course, unlock another gate, which we'll requires... each other sooner or later. ...which requires the governor's uh, decryption programs. If you miss either of the two, she won't let you unlock further, so you are sort of gated. actually safe to just go now once they head to the center they're both going to look at their respective consoles so they'll never see you we'll check our email once we're in safe t that's the full word the truth about the horrific human traffic at the neutropils factory the proof in issue 513 from iris damn that's some fast editing then again i guess it would be all words so they're just waiting for the pictures but how would they know how would they know what to write without actually seeing it. Okay, so that makes it fast editing. I'm still talking about this. Ow! 
Oh, dude. That sucks. Thankfully, there's not another guard here, but he did sort of sneak on through the lasers. In case you haven't grasped it yet, by the way, don't run through this area. If you run, the guards will hear you and come after you. So there's a reason why I'm moving so slowly. Also, for some reason, they can't see through this slightly smoky glass. So that's cool. Okay. Oh, God. Please tell me I'm safe. Cool. Okay, I'm actually just gonna steal this since I got further than I thought I would before. I actually kind of thought I'd have to kill somebody. So what we'll do is just steal the stuff from the supply cabinet and maybe I can get out of here. Sorry about that, Segundo. Come on. There we go. Cool, we're out of here. Alright, so remember when I said I'd loop back around? Well, we weren't kidding. Or I wasn't kidding. On to the next area, which is also X-ray verification, which means we're looping around again. This factory is a maze. Oh! Not sure if he has a friend. Oh, I guess the answer is no. And this looks like the gate we need to send to the governor. Upper floor? Okay, I see where you're at. We'll start the deciphering program. I think we've got it. Try that one. And there's our code. Well, this area seems to really only have one feature, which is this little loading platform back here. Calling all guards. Continue looking for the second intruder. The pig has been captured. They're bringing him in now. The problem has been taken care of. My best men have found and neutralized all of the intruders. Uh, uh, everything's under control, Your Excellency. I'll take care of this minor detail myself. Uh, uh.
Doms are gross. Alright, so the boss fight. As you can see, we have the left leg here, which actually has Dom stuff growing all the way down. The other one is robotic. So, our goal is to beat up the one that's actually Dom's. <laughs> I love you so much. So, basically, we need to avoid the laser. As I was saying, we need to take the, the Dom side. What we will do then is allow our good friend Double H to take the other side. And what we need to do is attack one side and then use our super action to make the other side go up as well. This will cause him to fall over and we can actually hit the Dom's core in the center. Like this. I don't know why I'm still hitting it. Yes, the basic concept here is we need to trip the robot over and over. He will shoot at us lasers and little green beams, but it's not that uh, intricate or difficult. Page. They've taken Page! If it wasn't for you, it would have been me they took for a free ride in one of their luxury coffins. Turn ticket not included. I'll find you, Page, no matter what. Hang in there. strike attempted by the Iris Network at the Municipal Nutripills factory. Thanks to the Alpha sections, the production line was fortunately saved, and a part of the gang of hoodlums were imprisoned. And there's your propaganda. Anywho, we got a pearl to grab. We can get out through there, Miss Jade. Also, another PA-1. Scanalyze, okay. Alright, let's head out of here. Now, we are not completely done with the factory. We're going to actually double back here in a second to get some stuff I missed uh, going through. It's not that uh, big of a deal. It's just a couple seconds going through the area we're already in, to be honest. The West Wing. Where Martin Sheen rules with an iron fist. We're on the right track. Hey, you recognize this place? Affirmative. Behind this door lies the cursed machine they used to rob me of half my memories. That sounds like a fun place to visit. Sadly, you can't. And also here, for some reason, it's giving me the instructions on how to use the friggin' gyro disc, even though I've used it plenty of times before. Have to jump, Miss Jade. Okay. It's that way, Miss Jade. Oh, snap. I just realized we need to be in the laboratory. <laughs> it's actually around it's this pillar. Way, yeah, I know where to go. So here's the laboratory proper. We never actually entered here before. Uh, what we need to do is push these giants... Were they capacitors? I guess so. Uh, we push them next to the electrical gate, and it will store the energy, allowing us to pass through safely. Because this is how electricity works, I think. This is actually what your electrician does. 
whenever uh, your power's out. He just goes into a secret room below your house and moves things in squares. Well, that's gross. Get off. Sadly, some of the stuff in those tubes feels like it should be things, but it's not actually things. Instead, what we're here for is this little bugger. Good work. I think it's a mosquito. Okay, your roll of film is finished. Good. I'll transfer a pearl to you, Jade. And I'll recharge your film. There we go. Also back here, we have another pearl. All right, we're done, I think, I hope. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna leave the factory, really, right now, because it sets up a whole event that we're gonna just start next time. It seems easier to keep it in the next video since we're already at like 32 minutes. So, I'm just gonna head to a save point, which is it's actually... It's that way, Miss Jade. Yeah, it's that way. Um, and we'll go ahead and save. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. It's been fun. Uh, hopefully these start picking up again. I do apologize. I've, like, seriously played. I have four level 50 characters in Star Wars The Old Republic. That's sad. Ugh. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, I don't know. May hopefully next week, if not the week after. Um, but I am going to try to pick up the pace again here and get this game finished. All right, guys, catch you later.